Susan says, I'm a new member of the Agency Growth Vortex Familia. For those of you guys that don't know, that's basically this offer, productized, and how we sell this to the local market. So it's like uh, a bunch of sales assets to help you guys get new customers for this service. Um, and there's also a done for you component in there where we'll do all of the fulfillment on it. So um, Susan says, I'm just starting a digital marketing agency and want to run um, a pixel or retargeting for her own brand. Uh, what's the best type of site to use? Um, an application funnel for scheduling calls with me or something else? Uh, thank you, very excited to be the next uh, case study. Awesome, uh, I can't wait to see that case study uh, as well. So at the end of the day, Susan, you could, you could take this market test and you could run it for yourself, right? Like we talked so far in this AMA on how to do this for an info product company. We talked about how to do this for a marketing company. So you could definitely take that same approach. Um, your traffic sources, if I were you, like I would try to get to the money as fast as possible. Um, and I would, I would use for my traffic source, Facebook. But again, understand the numbers working backwards. Like this is not going to make money in cash flow day one, week one, right? Iteration one. Understand though that this is the key, right? This is the key to, to major scale. If you can take somebody from cold traffic, right, to a value video, to booking a, um, like a value video VSL, to booking a strategy session, right, or a consult, and you have that math figured out, and you know how to run the ads and do everything, that, that is a major key to scale it. Can you do it for cheaper than Facebook? Yes. Can you do it for cheaper and scale? No, right? Like we could take that same funnel, take that same funnel and we could do that with cold email, right? So we could send a cold email, right? And then we could send somebody to our VSL, right? And then have them opt in, right? But it's not as easy to scale and it's not near as programmatic as it is with Facebook, right? So you're not gonna be able to scale, scale near as hard or near as fast with cold email, in my opinion, than if you had dialed in Facebook, okay? Just my own personal opinion. So you could do, right? Like you could do Facebook. Uh, you could do cold email. Um, you could even do voice drops. I'm not going to try to draw it because it would look really horrible here, right? But then you can send them to your VSL page, your value video page, right? Where you have a headline. Okay, don't overcomplicate this page. Make it easy. Okay, so you're going to have a headline. Then you're going to have a video. Okay, then you're going to have a button right, to, to have them book the console or the strategy session, okay? So, I mean, we've basically, I've always taught like this method, so to speak, right? So cold email, voice drops, Facebook, et cetera, LinkedIn prospecting, right, to a video like this and then a console or directly from here to a console. Um, and, and it works really, really well. But I think that you can do this to get started 100%. But I think long term, this is what's going to scale the furthest, right? And if you can learn how to break the Facebook code, right, you're going to be able to scale to multiple verticals. So when you're done and you've built a million dollar business in roofing, right, using this funnel, right, now you're going to be able to go after HVAC. Right now, you're going to be able to hit the next service business that you want, right? Now you're going to be able to hit siding and you're going to be able to hit decks. You're going to be able to start doing, you know, going after another niche that's related, like remodeling, right? Like if, if you can figure out how to make it work with paid traffic, right? You're going to be uh, in, in instant traffic sources, so to speak. You're going to be primed and ready to really scale. Okay. Um, but just, you know, for disclaimer purposes, you wouldn't have to start here, right? You could start doing cold email and you could start measuring your effects here. So you could start measuring like, um, you could start measuring your clicks, 
Okay, then you could start measuring uh, your bookings, right? How many people book the console? You can start then measuring the attendance, okay? And what I mean is like one in five probably is gonna book, right? Once they land on this page, okay? You're gonna have to figure out, you know, if you send 10 emails, how many is gonna click? Right? Is, it, is it one in 10? Is it one in 15? Is it one in 20? Okay, then the attendance, like you're gonna have probably a 75% attendance to your actual consult call. Not everybody's gonna show, okay? And that's with you inserting some marketing automation for like appointment reminders. Okay. Then you got to figure out your conversion rate. Okay, so you should have roughly just following the systems and trainings and, and things that we put together and, and how I've mentored people following this exact process, you should see a roughly like one in five or 20% conversion rate on these, right? Then you need to know your, your average order size or your average order value. Okay, so let's say that this is like, it's a thousand bucks a month and the average person sticks with you for seven months, that's seven grand. Now what you wanna do is you wanna start working this math backwards, right? Or back up, right? So 7,000 divided by 20 or times 20%, right? times 75%, times 20%, times 10. And you wanna understand what each click is worth to you, what each booking is worth to you, what each attendance, what conversion rate, and what average order value. And when you start to look at it like that, like a real funnel, like you were paying Facebook per click, right? You're gonna to start to really maximize your funnel. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with waiting a month for Facebook, right? Start this now, that's fine, but really start tracking everything and make the commitment to track everything so that once you start with Facebook, or once you move to Facebook after cold email, now you know all the metrics. Right, you figured out half the puzzle. So if I were you, Susan, this is exactly how I would do this and just keep it simple. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, would LinkedIn be in the strategy? I mean, it definitely could. What's LinkedIn's little logo like? L-I, I don't know. <laughs> I have no freaking idea. Um, LinkedIn could be in the strategy. Um, I would focus on one of these at a time though, if I were you, okay? And it doesn't mean long-term you have to, to do that, but get one working at least to some degree, right? So let's say that you start with email, you get email working, then you can add LinkedIn, right? You could do then Facebook organic, and then you can do Facebook paid. And one little neat nifty trick, if you guys are doing LinkedIn prospecting and you're also doing Facebook ads um, or at least Facebook retargeting is when somebody adds you as a connection or agrees to your connection request on LinkedIn, you can automatically shove them into a custom audience on Facebook and then you can start running ads to them. So what does that mean? When somebody connects with you and they're your target demographic, you automatically throw them in an audience, a custom audience on Facebook that then starts showing ads to them, okay? To push them into your funnel, okay? So this is super, super effective way to start getting consults really, really cheaply as well.